Hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel, Deb Chanel Sporty X World. And let's get right on into this new segment I started. Let's have a cup of coffee or tea with Lady D. Yes, let's have a cup of coffee or tea with Lady D. All right, we're going to be talking about clocking our own tea. So Portia Williams, if you're out there, please tune in, take some notes and implement the strategies that I'm going to give you on clocking your own tea. Okay, the streets are talking, Portia. The, street, the streets are talking. And mostly, a lot of vloggers are talking. All right? We got Impressive. We got Tasha K. We got The Shade Room. Yeah, we even got some magazines out there talking about you and Dennis and what's possibly going on with you all, allegedly. Okay? But I've just been sitting, waiting, hoping, praying that you definitely clock your own tea, tell your own story, or what's going on. If you have to wait until you get back on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta and let's see everything unfold on camera, that's even better because that's putting more checks in your pocketbook. Now, or purse or however you want to uh, call it, all right? Taking it all to the bank. That's when you say you a rich female dog, okay? Rich female dog. All right. Now let's just let's just talk about what's going on on these streets. And Dennis is just putting you all out there. Okay. Is it a threesome? Is it a threesome, Porsche? That's all I want to know. Or is Miss Sincerely and Dennis taking you for a ride? You already have a platform, and your mama like, uh-uh, don't come for my daughter. She got to keep her coins. Okay. And I'm right there with her. Even Lauren was like, mm-mm. Mm -mm, you can't come from my sister like that. So evidently, they've been hearing what the streets been talking about, and they confront confronting Portia about it all. Okay, I could just get it. I could just see it right now. Come on over here, honey. We gotta have a talk. Bring some food and some alcohol, cause it's gonna go down. But we wanna know: Is this Den Dennis McKinley and a family, the whole family over there, trying to make a shenanigan out of you, trying to make you look for that underground railroad that you thought was? You know, they're still uh, in operation and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh, we don't pull it up and we don't elevate it. We trying to level up, as C uh, Sierra says, level up, level up, level up. Okay. But it seems like Miss Sincerely, who's supposed to be a Canadian escort. All right. And I ain't talking about escorting you to functions and that's how it's going to be. Okay. It could be they, um, she's walking around with you, going to several uh, main events, popular events um just to rub uh elbows with the rich famous and kind of things of that nature but when we put the escort on the side they want a little bit more on a return of their money other you just escorting them places and being their arm candy for the day or for the night now nah, we talking about getting them between them sheets as well but it all is talking the streets are just talking first let me just go down with a little something something you got Dennis supposedly, it's allegedly saying that he is also seeing somebody on the side. Now, it's supposed to be you. Y'all supposed to be having a monogamous type relationship. You know, and you you said oops on that little thing uh, of having sex on the first date, getting impregnated and all that kind of stuff. Oh, we know you wanted a baby, but I think the sperm donor bank would have been a better option for you, girl. Yes, a sperm donor bank. You know, the one. Uh, Portia, not Portia, uh, Phaedra trying to tell Keen to go to, but we see how that ended up. All right, so we have allegedly Dennis dating this lady named Sincerely. Okay, she's a, supposed to be a Canadian escort, uh, among other things, you know, businesswoman, this, that, and third, go out the country, spend some time in Dubai doing her escorting thing. And it just is what it is. Okay, but Dennis been messing with her for a long time. This before Portia even came into the scenario. So my thing is, is Sincerely and Portia, try, I mean, Sincerely and Dennis McKinley, Portia's uh, allegedly fiancé, trying to come up on Portia's fame and fortune of the reality world? Oh, child, Portia, Portia, Portia. This is what the streets are saying. I'm not saying it, but I'm telling you about it, Okay. Then they saying that Dennis is going too far again, putting tattoos everywhere and all. He branding all these women like they cows or something and putting tattoos uh, 
imprints on them and he carrying away too with the same tattoo reminiscent of old past flames or it could be flames that's still in existence you know what i'm saying just keeping it on down low then they saying he got boils on his behind i'm like what what's going on with all this unsanitary type stuff they put a band-aid on that boy we don't need to see it go to the doctor and get it removed i don't understand i said we were talking about a mole but if it's a big mole you don't want to look at that either you'd be like well, okay we're a dermatologist i need to have this removed so that's what's being taught on the streets, okay? And I'm like, okay, I didn't know Dennis was in the hair business, selling false hair or fake hair, extensions, weeds, wigs, I don't know. The truth of it, allegedly, we're talking about. He's one of Portia's competitors. Now, how can you be marrying or think about marrying somebody that's competing against you in the same industry? What kind of sense does that make? I don't know. And I don't think it makes any sense to you, Port, if you really sit down and look at the longevity of things, okay? It's time for y'all to get money together, not him being one of your competitors, okay? Then we got, allegedly, substance abuse issues. Cocaine come up, you know? I'm like, what? What is going on? First, we dealing with weed. We try to get it passed in all 50 states for medicinal purposes. You know what I'm saying? Medicinal purposes. <laughs> And some people might probably want to use it for recreational, but we're going to go with the medicinal, uh, medicinal purposes for using it. I mean, you have a medical necessity to be smoking or eating the weed, okay? That's all that we can come across as being legit. And let's try to uh, leg legitimize, what we call it? legitimize the use of <laughs> the weed, okay? But anyway, this is what we got on. Then we talking about somebody dropping tea in the street. Talking about he, he like having sex with animals. Bestiality. He got some the vibe, but that ain't right. You got all these fine men, men running around here. All these fine women. You can't hook up. Or you can't do the lesbian on lesbian. And the gay on gay. You know, what are we not putting animals in the mix for it? For? That's just plain I ain't right. All right. On all counts of the world. In the mind, it's not right. Okay, animals do not mix with humans when we're talking about sex. Okay, it just doesn't mix people. I don't care how you want to put it or whatnot. And it ain't no sense of marrying no animal either. But this is the way of the world, this is how it has gotten. Okay, woo! I mean, ain't some Peter be on that. You know, people having sex with animals, shouldn't they be? That, that's an offense against the animal community. We always talk about don't shave the fur off animals like foxes and minks and all that. But then we don't want to have nothing about bestiality. Come on. Come on, world. We need to do better. We know better. We do better. There's some more. That, that ain't enough. That would have been enough for me just me reading out too. Okay? You sat there and named your baby girl. After one of his exes. Now I'm like girl. Please go to the courthouse. Change the name. You might want to use Hannah as her first name. And use Pillar as a second name. But your daughter ain't going to like it. As things progress on. Because these things as videos. Bloggers. All the stuff we put on the internet. It stays there. Child can look at it 20 years from now. And be looking like how this man has made a fool of his mama. Her dad making a fool out of her mom, and they ain't even married yet. Yes, baby, you were born out of wedlock. Some people call that a bastard child, but I don't get. I I really don't know. I mean, that's where it look at to me, cause that's what I was always told. You have a child out of wedlock. That's pretty much what it is. So we need to learn how to do it right from the beginning. Get married, have children, start a family. Not okay. I need to have a child. Still continue to sex, still continue to try to play like I'm the uh, mother in a father's role. Uh-uh, not going to work, not going to work. I mean, even if the, the uh, tables were turned and the woman was making more money than the man, still have a conversation on how you're going to do your household, who's going to be in charge of what, and who's going to be in charge of, you know, making the bread, bringing it home, who's going to be in charge of seeing out to the children, make sure they good on the school front, as well as just everyday living. You know what I'm saying? Choices need to be made. Decisions need to be made in that way. Then we've got, um, let me see, a sincerely 
allegedly Dennis's girlfriend, current, all right, not past, maybe not in the future, but we're talking about his uh, current girlfriend, all right? Well, he's supposed to be engaged and have a fiance by the name of Portia Williams, okay? I don't know where it's going from, but it sure makes sense now with the idea of Miss Diane Lauren, uh, Miss Diane is Portia's mother, Lauren is Portia's sister. I'm following him, <laughs> as we say, permanently, okay? Permanently dissing him, getting him out of their lives, their mind, minds, and, and the family. <laughs> he's not, he's no longer welcome, okay? Because we all had too many offenses against this brother for the negative. No, we don't want to be associated with. Now, my thing is, I'm going to tell you. Make this story of what's being talked about in the streets, Portia, as negativity. Make lemons. Make some lemonade out of these lemons they throwing on you. Okay, girl? But you're really going to have to come with it. You're going to have to really come with it and show you got tough skin, girl. Write your own storyline when it comes to showing back up on the Real Housewives of Atlanta and all this stuff. Because you know you're going to have people like Candy. You're going to have people like Eva. The tape is going to be done turn, in other words. They're going to be done put up all this information for what the blog's saying, what uh, social media is saying, what some of these reputable, reputable magazines are saying about you and Dennis having trouble. And these are the causes of what you're having negativity in the press in the eyes of society it's what's going on that Dennis doing to you. He got bestiality going on. He got the substance abuse thing going on. Uh, they said you were having tax problems where you owe a, a couple of hundred thousands to the IRS. You got him fooling around behind your back with a lady named Sincerely, who's a Canadian escort that goes everywhere in the 52 states as well as the, the several countries. Okay. <laughs> She traveled. She's an escort, as you can see. She got to be with the rich and famous, the upcoming people coming up to the elite and making money. She rubs uh, elbows, butt cheeks, whatever, with the elite. Okay, they know of her. They give her money for services well rendered. <laughs> okay, that's what I am talking about. So my idea for you or my suggestion for you Portia, is to get this brother, confirm this data first. And if it is true, if it looks like a duck, smell like a duck, quacks like a duck, then that's a duck, girl. So, okay, we're going to call Dennis a duck, all right? So you need to rectify that situation, make this your storyline on Real Housewives of Atlanta, and you claim everything so you get a bigger paycheck than Nene or close to hers when the season ends for season 12, okay? Because it's going to be real hot. When season 12 opened up, with Portia having a major storyline. Yes, we don't want to hear about Nene and no more uh, medical issues with her husband. We don't want to hear about Eva uh, running from house to house saying that, uh, well, she don't say it's alleged. It's true. Her uh, ex-baby father is just stalking her. So she had to move around to different counties in the state of Georgia, different states, you know, just to have her sanity when it comes to not feeling like she's being preyed upon as you give a drill. But, honey, uh-uh, uh, of course, you need to capitalize on this story, girl. You need to write your own narrative. You need to tell your story on film. So you'll be more interesting to watch other than the other ladies because we know they ain't got nothing going on. I don't know what Nene's storyline will be since we don't saw the Greg experience, okay, fighting cancer and, and, and winning the battle. And we definitely don't want to see sense. You're talking about she might get married again. I'm like, girl, keep your marriage. We, we don't want to see another marriage. But you're all quite boring anyway when you're married, Peter, but it was gorgeous. Yes, it was gorgeous, 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 okay? But we don't want to hear about you dating, Mike, y'all engaged. Not, get married if you must, if you must, and then film that. But we don't want to hear, I don't want to see you coming back talking about, I think I'm getting married. We should get married. We've been talking about getting married, but ain't no ring being plopped down or oh, wedding date. We got to go and go to the courthouse and get married and just live your lives. You know what I'm saying? So, Portia, look, if the man is cheating and he has cheated on you, you clock his teeth on television where you know you're getting paid. He looking like a fool, but you're getting paid. 
to empty out your own narrative of how you want this stuff to go down. So you will be smelling like a rose. Yes. Rising from the ashes like a phoenix. You know what I'm saying? And going forward. All right. And then drop him like a bad habit because, hey, you're not married to him. Why get involved with all of this nonsense that it can definitely naturally affect you and your daughter? You don't need him. He don't show himself to be an ass. So, you know, pretty much get to stepping. But tell your own story. Tell us all about the bestiality he be doing. Tell us all about, you know, how many other women you don't found out about maybe on his telephone or, you know, you've been sneaking around on his phone and seeing texts or photos or whatever. You know, tell us about that up with the upcoming Real Housewives of Atlanta season 12. Okay, that's what we want to hear. We want to hear drama. We want to hear dirt. We want to hear it all. And we want you to clean it up right up in his face and still be the one to be on top. Okay? We want you to address him cheating on you with sincerely. Honey, bring her to exposure so she seems like she wants to be on television. She wants to be on the ratchet show, reality shows that they're bringing us. Yeah, that'll be a good storyline. We'll all be eyes on you <laughs> and your storyline. But I'm just saying, honey, take control of it. Don't let Bravo or anybody else, the bloggers, get out there and say, oh, this is happening with you and this is happening with you. You know, what you ain't got nothing to say yet because it, so it must be true. You know, I, I, get write your own narrative. Get on that Instagram, Facebook, uh, YouTube. Tell, the, tell us the story behind it. Go on and tell us the story so we can get it straight from you. But we really don't want to hear what Sincerely is talking about. We definitely don't want to hear what Dennis is talking about. Let him go on, invest well like he's been doing, taking other people's businesses and claiming like he done did all the hard work from a man who was down at his down on his luck or come for very meager means and you know he's trying to turn his lemons into lemonade <laughs> but it seems like he just been going around taking everybody's stories and trying to come up on it or capitalize on it because you definitely have a nice platform a nice platform where you can tell as much dirt on yourself as you want but the the good thing about it you can portray it in how you want people to see you. You can put it out there, implement your story, press gas on it, and push forward and say, hey, this has happened to me or this is currently happening to me, but this is how I'm dealing with it. I know I'm going to come up with the money. I'm going to come off looking good, okay? I'm going to write my own narrative, my own storyline, how it's going to begin, how it's going to end, and that's it. That is my advice to you, Portia. Get ahead of this story. Get ahead of this mess that they throw a salt on your name. Write your own ending, okay? They, it may have come with the beginning, but you're going to have the perfect ending to your love story, okay? That went wrong. But that's all I got, y'all. That's my opinion on it. Like it, share, subscribe to the channel, okay? And this is where we're going to end this Cup of coffee or tea with Lady D. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.